going? Uh, slowly, Professor. Listen, Bob, Dr. Scott said uh, he wanted you to run up for a moment. Hmm? Uh, he's got a maintenance problem in the control room. Oh, no. That bloke shouldn't be allowed to drive a horse and cart, let alone a telescope. Well, never mind. Well, I've told him we're fed up in this thing, and Scott yells for help just because he's jammed the circuits. Listen, just go on up, I suggest. Uh, never mind that. I'll watch it. Mm, upstairs, downstairs, in the lane. One moment. One moment. Bring your own to control, mate. Never offer you a cup up there. I'm doing the right thing. Anyone about, sir? No. Right. Adam will be waiting. Lead the way, then. Stop where you are. Hold it. How on earth do you think you're doing? Look, I don't know who you are or what you're at. Hand over the radio. Who are you? Never mind. Hurry up. Don't move, I said. What are you hoping to do with it? See, I told you he wasn't. Who are they, Mayor? You kids, get back out of it. What's happening to that stupid boy? They're out in the ditch, the fools. We'll do something, will you? These guys are after the lot of them. Well, don't worry, I was on my way. I'll have the lad off the hook in three minutes if I can get to the control room. Thank you. 
Well, we lowered the dish and got the boy off. Good. Then he ran away. Look, just what is going on, Professor? I'll explain later, Scott. Listen, tell Mash I'll be away for an hour or so, will you? I'm taking the kids. Okay. okay. Pure research was so much quieter. Uh, what do we do with that? Keep him here and call the police. I... Hey, what about that other guy? I never saw him. Your control operators are bringing him down now. Oh, hey, what about the radio thing? Uh, well, well I, I, the I... guy that Chief Bernie took it, uh, he'll be hanging on to it now. What? Why? Are you sure? Positive. Yeah, well, we have to rush. Come on, kids. We'll go and get young Bertie. Make a cup of tea, will you, Bob? Those are direction signals from the ship. Now I send the emergency signal to direct him down. Well, how will they pick up your signals? Um, is there someone listening all the time? Yes, first we... No, Adam! Hide! I thought you'd never make it. Make it? You young whelp, do you realize what sort of a risk you took herring away like that? Hello, Professor. Oh, Adam, you okay? Yes, okay. Oh, it's good to see you. And I'm sorry about the circumstances in which we always seem to meet. Now, Bernie has told me about the strangers, but the radio was very important. He has brought it. Brought it? He nearly bought it. Shh. There. Already he has heard my signal, Professor. Now he will locate us and fly in a direct course. Can you talk to him yet? When it comes closer. Did you recognize the guy who was chasing you, boy? No, sir, but I think he was American. What did he look like? Well, he was tall and dark. Listen. How long will it be before it's close enough for you to talk to him? That I don't know. When this ship is close enough, you'll be able to communicate direct with Sochunas? Yes, and then I speak with the Sochun and receive my orders. Now... Uh, I want to tell you something, all of you. Now, this is most important. And I want you to listen carefully. taken me a long time to decide to do what I'm about to tell you. But the events of this morning have forced a decision on me that I can scarcely credit myself. Now, besides the very real danger this affair is causing you kids, there's my concern for Adam's personal safety and my alarm at the political dangers we're running into. Now, firstly, Adam, did they tell you that Peter was taken away to Soshunas? Yes. You have news of him? Yesterday morning, he was found in Canberra, unconscious. You mean he didn't go to Sushunas after all? He went to Sushunas and they returned him in a deep coma with a note saying that this was a demonstration of their power. Now, maybe you can tell us what this means, because if this boy should die... He will not die. He will not die if your doctors do not interfere. But only a Sushunas scientist can wake him up. Adam, I deliberately broke a strict security bond coming here this morning to meet you. Now, I figured that Nash and his military backers have been in charge of this operation for too long already. At this moment, they're working frantically to adapt rockets intended for scientific investigation of the moon so they can carry nuclear warheads to blast Soshunas into limbo if they want to. No! So that's what Colonel that's Nash is doing. That's why they're using the radio telescope. Not only in the hope of communicating directly with Soshunas, but so that they can get a fix on it for military purposes. I'm glad you tell me this. When I speak with the Sochian, I shall tell him what you say and warn him. But, Adam, they wouldn't. What can we do? Look, I spent most of last night thinking about this. There is one way in which we might get them to see sense. When this ship of yours arrives, let me go back to Sochunas in it while you give yourself up and stay here. I'll speak to the Sochian, at least for the scientists of the world and for the vast majority of people. Hey, Dad. Now, uh, you're... People don't trust us, Adam. Now, I don't blame them for that. I can understand it. And soon they'll know what the military mind is preparing to do. Now, my presence up there with them in the face of this threat to destruction 
will be the best possible guarantee of my integrity, of the integrity of all real scientists. Now, you can see that, can't you? You will risk your life. Man, my life has nothing compared with the issues involved here. Every man worth his salt's prepared to die for something. Now, if those fools destroy Sashunas, I'll gladly go with it. I wouldn't want to go on living on this planet if they did such a thing. When I speak with the Sashun, I shall tell him what you say. I shall tell him you're a good man, an honest man, and that what you say is true. I will speak with the pilot as soon as he is within range. I shall arrange for the ship to arrive at dusk. That's a couple of hours. It would be better if we waited here then, sir. Yeah, they're bound to suspect the reason for my absence soon. Well, at least we can lie low here. No one knows we're here. That's why they're using the radio telescope. Not only in the hope of communicating directly with Soshonis, but so that they can get a fix on it for military purposes. That's it. That's the bit. That's all we need. Rewind it. Well, what's on your mind, sir? I told this fool mayor to come to me when he was in a jam. We had this island fixed up ready for them. Jack Plumbers' idea. Used to produce copra for one of our subsidiaries in the Pacific. Accommodation there for 400 people. We could have had the whole mob of them land there without anyone knowing. If mayor had played along. We'd have had them. Easy as that. We could have blown this satellite to bits with their nuclear rockets. After it had been evacuated. No one need have known they were on the earth, and Mayer could have made himself a rich man. Well, he's made his choice. And what do we do now? We compromise our friend Mayer. Mayer turns traitor in one fell stroke. <laughs> I beg your pardon? This fellow, uh, Adam. You know where his hideout is. Go get him. Well, Mayer and the three kids are with him. I'll tell Nash where Mayer is. He'll be after him in no time. But we'll move in one jump ahead of Nash and take this Adam. Have the plane warmed up and waiting. It's all a question of timing. Sure. The timing is everything. When Nash goes in to arrest Mayer, he'll expect to find this Adam with him. He wants to get him, too. Sure. But you, Blake, will already have got him. And this little radio. Don't forget the little radio. You bring Adam back in Nash's car. Nash is left stranded. That gives us time to fly out. We refuel, uh, where'd you say? In Newcastle. Right. We tell them we're flying on to Brisbane. When the plane doesn't arrive in Brisbane, there's going to be a big uh, checkup. Let them think it crashed. No one will have seen it land on the island. Just one more private plane lost at sea or in the mountains and never heard of it again. Uh, not when someone like yourself is among those lost. You and I leave the plane at Newcastle. We get to the island one of our own trading vessels. Routine inspection, no questions asked. And then? Adam uses the radio to contact his leader and tell him everything's organized for them. Accommodation there for 400 staff on the island, none of it being used. They all come down on those little craft of theirs and settle on the island. No one knows anything about it. Nothing to it, Blake. Like taking candy from a kid. Yeah. And this, what do I do with this? You rewind it. Well, Colonel, does that satisfy you? How did you know we were here? Had my men tell you. How is it you're so interested in this business? Colonel, isn't the whole world interested? But why have you gone to these lengths to follow us and so on? As I have explained, Colonel, my business interests are enormous. That is my personal stake on this planet, sir. And I have no intention of seeing it taken from me or destroyed because... A university professor chooses to turn traitor and betray the whole human race. They tell me you phoned for me. Oh, yes, Scott. Um, what is this? Uh, oh, uh, excuse me, Lindenberger. Tell me, Scott. What is this report about gunmen and fighting going on in here a few hours ago? I haven't a clue. There are so many darn people involved. No one tells me a thing. Uh, never mind professional pride, sir. Oh, you. For now, just tell me where you have left the small Sashunas radio. The radio? Well, I don't know who has that. I don't even know who should have it. Where is it? Mayor said... Yes? Go on. He said the intruder had it. But when he cleared off, it was obvious he didn't. Mayor said what? 
He said the instrument... Oh, all right, all right, never mind. Where did he go? Who? Where? Hmm, search me. He cleared off with the kids after young Bernie. Hey, maybe that young blighter had the radio. Oh, no, no, of course he wouldn't. Yeah, that's all, thanks, Dr. Scott. Oh, by the way, I've had the kid's father called up here from Sydney to be here for trouble like this. Bully for you. Uh, he'll be downstairs now. Be a good lad and fetch him up, will you? Look, I'm not your darn messenger, Colonel. Yes, yes, never mind. Uh, just be a good chap and uh, help us out, will you? Ah, Walsh. Colonel Nash, if anything has happened, please let me know at once. No, no, as far as I know, the children are quite all right. And what? This is not the information I received. It seems that Professor Mayer and the children have cleared out to keep a rendezvous with Adam in the Met yesterday. Good heavens. Yes, there may be some danger, Walsh. We're going to have to get them now. Lindenberg's men have told us where they are. You'd better come. I don't know. I don't understand it at all, Nash. Well, I'll explain it away. Oh, Lindenberger, Walsh. How do you do? <laughs> Shalosis. Sars amestiostis. Sensi seal assistmos nosos. Can't you contact him yet, Adam? Excuse me, please. I shall try outside. Wasting our time. The ship couldn't possibly get here yet. Well, you never know. What is the time? Seven o'clock. Well, Sydney's only 250 miles away, and no ships can really go, can't they, sir? Well, they have to find us. That's what'll slow them down, isn't it? Hmm? Oh, excuse me. Well, did you find out what Adam told your father just now? No, Pop won't talk about it. Pop's really worried about it, though. I think it's got something to do with a secret weapon. What secret weapon? They've got a secret weapon. Adam's told Pop about it, and that's what's on his mind right now. Shalossa Semestis Nos is Professor Mayer. Shalossis Franciscos Nos, Colonel Nash. Sa. Sa Semestis Nostis. Sa. Well, Adam, where are they? The ship is close. How long, Adam? How long? Every policeman and security guard in the country will be up here after me soon. Not long. That thing, does it have to make all that round? It does. Sorry. Mayor is the one walking up and down. You grabbed the other one, got it? Mayor could recognize me. So could the boy. I'll keep well out of the way. Okay. Come on. Take care of Mayor and the kids. They won't fight. where you are. Don't any of you move or try to come after us. Just stay right where you are. What do we do now, Pop? Look! The ship! There it is. There. Come on, keep moving. Wait.
I'm going to board this thing and go back to Soshunas. Now, you go at once and tell Nash what's happened. Can't we wait to see it land? No, there's no time. Go now. Cars a mile down the track. Take it to Parks, call Nash. He must know about Adam. Let's go, then. Come on. Well, go on, kids. You've got to help. Everything depends on these next few minutes. OK. See you later, Pop. Sure, son. Good luck. Stop! 